Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, share and like. Um, today I decided to look into um, how better off we are if we're poor or low income. Because I was thinking about this um, new law that's coming out, June 2020 which is saying that people over 75 will now have to pay for TV licenses. Now, it appears that if you're low income, you get free TV licenses, you get free dental, you get free prescriptions, you, get, um, you don't have to pay council tax, you get subsidised rent, I mean, you, you know, provide, depending on what part of universal credit you get, you also get um, help towards your electricity bills. So, you know, when you're working nine till five or however pe people work, whether it's nights or whatever, it seems that you're suffering or you're penalised. Because why is it? I mean, even elderly people, 75, they're being penalised for living longer and actually being able to enjoy something they've worked all their lives, you know, now it's time for them, and you reach a point where after you've worked all your lives, you're looking forward to retirement, you're looking forward to concessions. I mean, even if you go to the gym these days, and you used to be able to get a reduced rate if you were over 65. Now, if you're over 65, there's no reduced rate at the gym. I think you have to be about 85 or 90. And I think it's ridiculous. And they're penalising people now who were over 75. And now it's for them to watch TV, they now have to pay, I think it works out to £152 a year for a colour TV licence. Black and white, I don't know who has black and white these days. That's £52 a year. Is there anybody with a black and white TV? I doubt it. So, I, you know, I just think it's so unfair. They'll soon be taking away the free bus passes, the Oyster card for the over 60s, because over 60 is deemed too young now to be able to have concessions. In the olden days, 60 was archaic. They was expecting you to die at 60. 75, you were living a long time. My mother, she's 93. She's still going strong. I don't think she's about to die yet, although she does appear to be living as opposed to feeling alive. She's got to that point where because she's disabled, she feels a bit frustrated with life. And so at that point, I, I believe that she probably would be entitled you know, I don't even know if she'd be entitled to it. Maybe she's over the threshold. I don't know. I don't think she's getting pension credit. If you're getting pension credit, it means that you can get a free television license. But to get pension credit, you have to be getting some ridiculously low amount of income. You can't even live on that income when you, when you get pension credit. So it really is not fair. You know, it really is dire. I mean, and they're making a big fuss and talking about lonely people. Forget about how lonely over 75s are. That's got nothing to do with it. It's about their quality of life. And yes, some people do need the TV to keep them company. And if what they're saying is that they get enough income to be able to afford a TV license... I don't believe it should just be pension credit. If anything, they should be assessed. What is their income? Have they been saving all their lives, you know, so that they've got a certain amount a week? This £152 or £155 or whatever it is, it's going to dig into that. So just because you're not getting pension credit doesn't mean that you're well off. Oh, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, TV licence. It's required regardless of which TV channels you watch and how those channels are received. The TV license is not 
payment for BBC services, but it is used to fund the BBC. Because I saw a lot of, um, I was watching RT Live, and they're talking about, you know, they're going back and forth with this pension thing. And you know, it's just a government pitch. It just makes you so sick playing around with people's lives, you know, while they're trying to pitch, you know, I don't even know what they're pitching for. It just pees me off. Um, they don't give a toss about anybody apart from themselves. They think they sound important. They think they sound posh. They think that they're, they they sound well to do and they know what they're talking about. And they have people's lives in their hands and they don't care what they do with it. So I think it's really unfortunate that pension people, you know what's going to happen next. After they're taking away the TV licence, if, if NHS gets privatised, how are the pensioners going to be looked after that's another thing you have to look up look out for residential care they're having to sell the homes that they've lived in all their year all their life paid for paid off the mortgage and then they have to sell that to pay residential care at some astronomical amount it's not even reasonable they shouldn't have to pay more than 500 a month for residential care but they're having to pay thousands for residential care and they're still not treated well. Oh. Anyway, apparently if you're visual impaired and you can't see the TV anyway, you get it for half price. I can imagine what kind of tests you need to go to. And what is the point of that? If you can't see the TV anyway. These people are something else. Anyway, it is £154.50 for the colour TV, uh, 52 for the black and white TV, which I think is extinct. And uh, apparently, if you watch <coughs> if you watch Netflix, um, Catch Up, Now TV or ITV Player, you don't need a licence. But if you don't watch any of those and you watch all the other channels, you could be fined £1,000. So... You have been warned, my friends, and I speak to you soon. Bye-bye.